So now, when you when you create your items, like the case we have, let me close this. Like the case we have in there, we have the container. Then we have um, about nine items within the, this container. So, and um, I think it's better for me to, okay, should I create another one? Um, okay, no, I'll maintain this one. So now, let me remove all the, um, I will leave, I'm going to leave the columns, the grid, the place content. Yes, I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to take this height out also. Let me just comment it out. So we're back to where we started from. Now, grid column start if we have um, this grid a three column grid column one two and three and we have also three rows no, sorry two and three now this is the starting point of this column this is a col next one so we have four grid lines on the column side. Similarly, we have four grid lines on the row side. Two, three, and four. So, so these numbers are important because um it help, helps us to to merge columns together merge rows together and even both also so let's take an example that i want to merge the first column and the, the, the first row all the columns together so let's say I want something of this nature. This is first row, and I divide this also into, and I want this also to, to be, to be, let's say, in this format. So this simply means that If I create like an imaginary row here, yeah? imaginary row. So that means I, I I'm I'm going to have, <clears throat> and then also an imaginary column here. Yeah? Imaginary column. This is also imaginary here. Yeah? Imaginary here. Yeah? So that means that I for this force side, I will call this nav. Let me call this row nav and this one footer. Footer. So I I I that means that I, I'm going to merge this column, this column, and this column. So three columns together for me to get this nav 
section. Now, for me to have this, I'm going to merge two rows, this row and this row together to have this. And similarly, in this case, I'm going to merge two rows, one, two, and two columns, one, two, together to have this. And for the footer, I'm going to merge three columns as well. So for, for me to de design this, um, this page, I will need three columns and I will need four rows. So if I go back to the to the page, um, to the uh, visual code, let me just create a, a new file here. No, escape. I don't want it in there. New file. Grid. Template. Underscore templates. Dot HTML. Now, I will create Remember that I I'm going to, uh, okay, sorry, where is it? Okay, it's on the, remember, remember that I want to create three columns and four rows. So that, that means that I will create my uh, container, right, which is um, the div container. I'm going to give it a class of, um, okay, I should have just done div the container. Class of container. So, I will create my content. So, let me just use um, div as well. So how many divs am I going to create? Let's go back. So since I'm doing three by four, right? So I'm going to have 12, 12 items in there. But do I actually need 12 items? We get to know later. But first of all, let's create that 12, 12 divs. So I have 12 divs. Let me just give it um, these values. No. Why am I wasting my time? And just give it the same, same values also. I don't actually need the content. It's just to place something in there. So if I go and preview, I have that. Let me close this one. I don't need this one for now. So now I have those contents. Now, remember that if you want to do your, your what's it called? Column. You use your what? Grid template columns and grid template rows. So I'm going to create my style now so i will turn this container to a grid if i preview again 
I did not expect anything whatsoever to happen. Now, I'm going to write in the grid template. Column, or okay, okay, template column. Three, let's see, I'm going to repeat. Three times, I want 300 pixels, for example. So, now I have three columns. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. All right. Now, let me give it officially because I do not need to do row already. Already, you will see that it has um, divided itself into four rows. Why? Because I've already configured three columns. So, automatically, Others also will fall in place, and we go into the into the um, rows. Now, but do I really need? Okay, Emmanuel, what's your question? Um. So, sir, after watching the recording from the last class, okay, what came to my mind was this. So, is it like? For instance, when using the grid to like arrange everything into rows. When and using column, what? The grid um stuff to like arrange everything into rows and column. Okay. Is it possible that, for instance, if we have like, for instance, this is like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, two of content items here. Mm -hmm. So what if we remove like two of them and we like try to mix up the blank space? Is something like that possible? Which 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 let, let me understand your question. What if we move, remove two contents? Yeah, and try to mix up the blank spaces. Is this still possible? What, what do you mean by mix up the blank spaces? So maybe like, instead of it to be like, just organized, yeah. like, align yeah. with each other, the blank spaces right next yeah. to each other. Is it possible to move on to like the first um row? Why the second one move the blank, second blank space move to like the third row? Like reordering. Yes. Mean? Of course, that you can do that. Okay. okay. Let me change the content again. I didn't want to do the... Okay, let me just do, do the content. Oh, undo. One. Two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I have to do this so that you can see the different content. Now, the plan is to achieve this this layout. But the question, question mute yourself. The question I asked earlier on was this do I actually need the four by three matrix? The answer is no. Why is that so? Yes. I use these imaginary lines to divide the no. grid. Uh, now, uh, Emmanuel, just no. listen, because your question will be answered in the course of the class. Okay, sir. So, I only use these imaginary lines to, to create my content, right? Because I saw that the, 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 the left or the distance from, from here to here is more than distance from here to this place. Right? So I, I but I now saw that okay, yes, from here to here is like it's almost equal to the, from here to here. So that means that there must be 
some kind of rule here also. But at the same time, do I even need to do that? No. I can easily give this a dimension of one, this a, a dimension of two, and this one a dimension of one. But I'm here to explain many concepts at the same time. So that is why I'm going through this route of matrix. So I don't need to, to define four by four, mute yourself, four by four matrix. The reason is that I only have one big cell here because all, because all the columns here already merge. So I only have one, two, three, and four items. So all I need is just four items. That is all. But I will still need to keep the concept of this four by three matrix in mind. Right? Because I want to explain how you can do your uh, column collapse and uh, row collapse. Somebody is still not muted. So now, like I said, let me just put it in, in, in one corner here. I want to achieve this. Right. So I'm going to use this one now just to answer um answer Emmanuel's question. I'm going to move this guy 12 to the first row. And how do I do that? Is by using the the um the grid item property, grid column start and grid column end. Where is the starting point? Where do I want this this to have, you know, ideally, ideally, everything is divided into one, one, two, three, one, two, three. So 12 is right here. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Based on on the positioning, the current positioning of twelve, twelve is right here. Right, if you if you check, is the last one, but I want to move it up to be right in the first row. All I need to see. Is go to this div and say you grid 12 start your column at one. This is one, yeah, right here. Start at one and end at four. Then your row starts at one and end at two. If I go back to the style side, I'm going to remember is now um, a grid item. So I'm going to give each of them a class. So let me give all a class. No, no, no. What did I do then? Come on now. Um, grid. items then let me say item 
one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like I missed one. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Come on. Something is missing. Eleven. How come it's eleven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Aha. Uh -huh. Look at it. Seven. How come the thing disappeared? Eh? Eight. Okay. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. How did I delete that stuff? See, you amazing. Okay. All right. So now I want to work on this grid item 12. And I'm going to move it up here. So I will say dot item 12. I'm using I dot item 12 because that's, that is a class name here. So I will say grid um call grid dash column start is starting from one and I want it to end grid grid dash col column end. So I want this 12 to start from where one and end as four. That is its row start at one and end at two. So grid row start one and grid row end two. If I preview, you will see now that I have been able to move this 12 to, to occupy the entire um, row. If I let me give everything a border dot grid dash items. border one pixel solid and i want it black so you can see that now 12 has occupied the the first row here so it is not it is not um compulsory that 12 being the last item Will remain at the last at, at the last last position at the position position, so you can move things around, right, and you can see that it's still trying to maintain the um the post uh, the space for that twelve, right. But with time. You will see that we, we we are still going to remove those items that we do not need, because like I said earlier, you only need one, two, three, and four items, right? So I only used these twelve cells to to explain the grid, 
and how you can merge, merge your columns and rows together. So now, we have successfully merged three columns together here. Is there any question on what I just did? No, sir. No, okay. Sir. Now, Emmanuel, does this answer your question, Emmanuel? Yes, sir. Okay. Thanks, sir. All right. So now, this mission checked. But if you look at this other one now, let's concentrate on this. We are trying to merge these two together. Am I right or wrong? I want to answer. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. You're yes, right. Sir. You're right. Now, it is not compulsory for me to match four and seven. No, I can go and take six, uh, say one, 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 and just move it here and just match. Simple. But let's just work with what we have on on the browser. Presently, we have one right there. So I want to move this one to flow and to occupy the entire two rows there. So what am I going to do? I'm going to say, I'm going to go to that great item one. I will say you, your column starts at one. Because remember, this is column one. And you end at two. However, your row will start at two and end at two, three, and four. This is four. So start column one, end column two, start row two, end row four. If I go back to my visual code, this I'm targeting item one now, right? So I will do, I only targeted I, I, I item 12 just to answer Emmanuel's question, but because if I want to do it, I will have, I will have used item one to span three columns. So now I will take item one now, create a selector. Let me just copy everything here. No need for me to repeat myself. I'm just changing the, the values. So the item one is starting at column one and ends two. However, the row is starting at two, two and ends four. If I go back to my browser, you will see that that is exactly what I have there. Is there any question? Is there any question? I will no, take no. okay. I will take silence. I will always take silence for no question. Sir, I have a question. Okay. So for the row, I wish to count the line. Yes. Right. Okay. You count the lines. Let me let, let me repeat because it is so important. Let me repeat. Now, re re remember that this is imaginary column here, right? Lines, grid line for that is dividing the the columns in, into uh, the, the into three columns. One, two, three columns, and this this one is dividing it into four rows. One, this this one here, imaginary, right? So I have one, two, three, four rows. Now look at this line, this one coming out. This is grid line one, grid line two, grid line three, and the last one here, four. Dividing the columns. For the rows, look at this line, grid line one, 
to this imaginary line three four then five so you can see that the row has four grid lines while the row has five grid lines so you must always use these start these numbers to divide or to to collapse as the case may be does that answer your question mary yes sir okay so let's continue now i want to match this these cells this four cells now into one so that means that imagine four cells one two three and four i want to collapse them into a single cell i can take any one i can take two i can take three i can take four i can take five i can if even i can move anyone from here to go and occupy that space there's no other fast way about it it depends on your design so but my usual way i'm going to follow the numbers as as is so i'm going to take two so i move this this second cell i will make it to occupy everywhere so which simply means that the column is starting from two and ending at what four and the row and the row is starting at two also and ending at four or you know this one two three four yes four i don't want you to look at this because you remember there are many items not 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 not, not needed i want you to look at this one yeah so is start the row is starting at two and ending at four the column is also starting at two and ending at four because it's occupying this entire space so i'm going back to my code item two dot item two selector i'm going to copy everything as usual so just for me to change so it's starting at column two and it's ending at column four and it's starting at row two and ending at column four i'm uh, sorry row four row, a grid line four rather not sorry Grid, grid, grid line four as where it is ending and it's starting at grid line two so if i go back now hold on okay i know what is happening it's because it's seeing multiple lines now and that is the reason why it's it's not good to just um to maintain um to create uh, many items at the same time i need to be specific on my number of rows remember i did not specify number of rows so let me go back and specify my number of rows i'm going coming here to see grid template row this time rows four there are four rows and i wanted 300 pixels also no that's too that's too big so let me reduce to 200 and see yes it's, it's much better now so you, you can now see that just me specifying my role one two three and four you see these other ones they are just extra ones added automatically because 
the the content I have, the items I have, has exceeded this um, um three by four matrix. Because why? Because I've already made some items to occupy more than the columns they ought to occupy or more than the rows they ought to occupy. So remember, I only um, did these, uh, what's it called, many items to just explain to you that you can move things around. Ideally, if I am the one to do it, I will only stick to these four items because I know that this, these are the items I want, I need. One, two, three, four. So now let me go back. Okay, hold on, please, before I go back. So now we have achieved this. We have achieved that and this. So we only need this one now, this other one. So the footer. And you know the footer, the column starts at 1 and ends at grid, grid 4. And the row starts at grid 4 and ends at grid 5. So I'm going I will go back right now to the browser and my code. Let me go to the browser. So I'm going to take three right here. So this the grid items I've used so far is 12, 1, 2. Now I am taking three. I want to make three to span these three columns. So I will go back to my code, item three, dot three, selector. So I'm going to copy this. And paste. So the column is starting at one and ending four. Similarly, the row is starting at what? Four and ending five. If I go back to my browser, now I have what I need, what I need well, when I've achieved my design. So these other ones, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I do not need them. So all I need to do is Come here, delete, delete out or comment out all this to the last. So now I have my template as designed. Is there any question on how this is achieved? Any question? Okay, no question. So now, what I will do is this. For um, sanity's sake, I'm going to remove all this. I, I do because I don't actually need it. So these are the four items I, I need as I earlier stated. One, two, three, and four. So now... If I want now to now center, center my item, then I will now start applying applying uh, what we learned, le le learned in the la in the last class. So I'm not going to go through that now. Is there any question now? Before I switch to the homework, yeah. any question? No, sir. No question. So if I give you an assignment on grid, that um, you create, let me see. Do I see have um, an assignment of that nature? I'm coming. I think I should 
So we still have something like that. Aha, yes, this one. So if I give you this to do, will it be difficult for you to do? I'm asking a question. I'm sorry, I want to ask a question. Okay. Those, um, is it yellow or orange now with the grayish black color? Are they also included in the whole? You mean this? Yes, yeah, like the bottom yellowish or yellow. This one. Orange. Yeah, those this two. yellow. Yes, of course, and, it's, it's, okay. it, it's part of it. It's part of it. So if I give you something like this, look at it very well. We will to do it. We have treated column gap, right? We have treated row gap. Yes or no? Yes. But... Okay. In that yes, yes. You forgot it. No, no. Okay. The, I think the size, the size of the last one, the last row. This one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the and the, the last column, the blue side, the blue color. I the, think this the one. Is, mm -hmm. What happened to the size? That's the only problem I'm having. Okay. I, I, to me, I don't think there's any problem with this. Right? It's just little mathematics that you do. Little calculation. Uh, no, uh, you have forgotten geometry and mathematics. <laughs> okay. You want me to <laughs> dissect everything for you? Already, you, you know from year to year is 414. Right? So that means that this row, this row is 414. Okay, since you know that that row is 414. Now, this, there's an imaginary row here, which is 130. So this is a row on its own, 155. I'm already, I'm already dissecting the, the assignment for you. So what, what, what is there for you to do now? So this is under row 20. So how many rows do you have here now? Mm. Huh? Yeah. Um, I think we have um three rows. Three, three. rows. Really? Which was I just did explain now. <laughs> Joshua is silent. Okay, it's four. Four. Four rows. Uh, uh -huh, four rows. Uh, this is one row. Four, 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 yes. one row. There. This is another row. This is another row. And this is fourth row. Now, how many columns do you think this should have? Five. How do you get your five? Um, so the first one has like one big one, which should be one. Tell then me the dimension. Are... Tell me the dimension. Um, seven forty eight by four one four. First no. one. Mm -mm. No. No. Nope. You've mixed it up. How many columns? Look at it very well. Uh, Mary is going out. Uh, network is you, I, pre I presume.
Joshua, you are not, you are you are silent today. I Even Pharaoh, me, okay. I think Pharaoh has spoken once. Joshua. Yes, sir. You are you are too you are too cold for me today. Mm. Are you sure you 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 got a concept? Um, I'm just following along. So. You are just following along. Yeah. So that means you don't understand. No, I do. You do. Then if you do, then you won't because that statement follow you along. It doesn't connote understanding to me. You are just following you along. It means that uh, you are not getting properly. Let, let me just follow on. No, I'm getting. Okay, then then you should have used that um, that choice of words following you along. Because following along means you are not actually really understanding it. You are still trying to get it as, as we go along. Okay. So how many yeah. columns is uh, are there now? I'm yeah, Mary. Columns. You say what? How many columns? Three. Three? Okay, Mary said three. Three columns, sir. Okay, Mary, Mary said three, and then uh, uh, Emmanuel said five. Yes, I remember Emmanuel said five. Five. So, um, Joshua, how many columns are here? Sir, it's four. You are changing your mind now. Okay, four. Okay. No, Mary... I just checked it. Very okay. Well Mary now. said four. Uh, Emmanuel said five. Joshua, how many columns are here? Um, I will go with four. You will go with four. Yes. You are going to explain to me because I, because I don't want you uh, uh, to just follow along. Fair on me. How okay. many Four. columns? Yeah? Four. Four. Israel is no longer here. Okay, fine. David. David, how many columns? Four columns, sir. You said? Four columns, four you columns. Four. Okay, mm -hmm. let, let me start with um, with Joshua. Joshua, can you dissect? How, how come, how did you derive four columns? I'm waiting, Joshua. Um, I I just counted. Uh, um, I just thought maybe um. Uh, I just um uh, four is four. Guess what? You guess. Is that what I was saying. Yeah, I wasn't really going with everybody. I was just um. Trying to see, trying to help. And that yes, that is why I'm asking. I want to understand how you got it. Can you just explain how you got four to me? Should I give you control? So I, I will send, I will send, I will snip this image to uh, to the group. Everybody will see, have access to it. Then you can analyze from there, or you can direct me on what, how the deal. Get four. Hmm. You are not sure. Fair on me. How did you get four? Um, because it's like the big, the big section and up is one is one, 
column already and then the um, okay yellow. okay this, this one is one column already yeah and okay. the second one is is the yellow this is the one? yellow okay yeah. It's so that, yellow and so, gold, so, which is so that, the that same means, color. That means you created yeah. some kind of imaginary yeah. line, line here, right? Yeah. Okay. So we have the we have this line, we have this line. So this is two. Okay. Then the black. Um, the black. Okay. So this is also an imaginary line here. So this is three. Then this one is four. Exactly. Yeah. yeah thank you for me. This is what I want to hear. Four columns. Emmanuel, do you understand how we, how, how we got the four columns? Yes, sir. Okay. So that simply means that this, the size of this first column is 320. From here to here is from this point to this point is 320. And the size from here so this point is 198. This from here to this point, 198. From this point to this point is what? 153. And the, the last one is 50. The, so the dimensions are there already. Geometry. It's just geometry. So going back to my first question, so uh, can you do this now? I've, we have already done 50% of the work, the analysis of the work, we have done it now. So are you able to do it? Sorry, sir, excuse me, sir. Okay. Okay. If we are Let's to do start. something like this, mm -hmm. are we following the dimensions or just to bring out something relating to this? I need to understand your question. Following like are we following mm -hmm. the dimensions or we are just to make sure the numbers of rows and columns are correct? Can you follow the dimensions and now yeah. get this um layout? Is it possible? Without I you, think so. Without you doing this grey column start, grey column end. So you think so? That um, if, if you just specify the dimension, this layout... No, no, like I'm just asking, like, are we going to use the dimension when we are creating our own or... Yes, you, just... are going, you are going to use this dimension, yes. That's okay. why the dimensions are there. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay, sir. Mm-hmm. So, is there any other question? So, the question the question I want to ask is this: Can you do you know how to create dimensions? As that's the next question. That's the obvious next question. No, sir. Aha. No, sir. So you don't know. <laughs> And I think we have treated it before. We have treated it. The problem is that you have not reviewed, I think, the very first class of this grid class. Let me so I think. Okay. You I'm not really sure about it. Like, are we using the width and the height properties? I don't know. Okay. Let me come back to my design. Let's see. Okay. I've uh, I've even done everything here. So, but okay. Now look at this. Let's see. It, this it, 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 what I did here is is dimensioning simple. This is dimensioning. I've dimensioned the column to have oh. three hundred pixel, three hundred pixel, and three hundred pixel. 
that is the dimension I've done here. So the total length from year to year now is 900, 900 pixel. For the row, each of these row I've dimensioned from year to year, 200 pixel, another 200 pixel, another 200 pixel, 200 pixel. So the total length from here to this way is 600 pixel. I've already done it. It's just that you are not paying attention to details. Now, if I do not want to, you know, in, in the very first class of this grid, I said this repeat is used not in, since they are the same dimension, the, the dimensions, I do not need to repeat myself by 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 just typing 300, 300, 300. If, I, if I'm not lazy, I could have just said, let me clear my screen. I, I could have just written out, delete this one out. 300 pixel space, 300 pixel space, 300 pixel, three columns. This one, four, uh, four, four rows, 200 pixel, 200, uh, Pixel, pig, pixel, two hundred, pixel, two hundred, pixel. Nothing will change. What can you? The question is that can you without without this, without this, um, this this comment out? Can you achieve? Can you achieve it? No. Dimension is just there for dimensional purposes, nothing more. But you need to know how to divide and collapse your rows and columns. Is there any other question? No, sir. Uh -huh. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. So is the dimensioning clear now? Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. Uh huh. Yes, sir. I know I've, I've explained this in the very first lecture. If you go yes, back, sir. uh huh, you see it there. So please review, review your your videos. <laughs> okay, so is is it safe to now move on to the to the uh, what's it called now? to the assignment that we, we were treating before, the Zoom. Is it safe for me to end this class on grid now? Is there any question on this grid? Because I'm stopping I'm stop, stopping here today because I do not want to overload you. Grid starts, grid column starts, grid column end, grid row starts and grid row end. I've treated this for this for because in fact five to, to be precise because this one is a short and for this four. Look at it here. Um, look at it. Look at it. Yeah. So, sorry, I said four. Look at it. Sorry, this one is shorter for this two rather. And this other one is a short term for this two. Let me, let me clear my screen. Let me draw this two, this one, this two, this one is right here. Hmm? And grid area, this grid area. I don't know why I I I, I didn't put it here. This grid area. Is a short and for the four. You can see. So the first value is your grid row starts. The second value is your grid column starts. The top value is your grid row end. The fourth value is your grid column end. So row starts, column starts, row end, column end. So, so don't worry. I, I will still 
practice it, do a practice on, on, on it, then discuss, justify self, play, play self is a, is a short term for this too. So, is there any questions? Uh, who Pharaoh me says what? Well, yeah, okay. The chess board, yes. I um, I will say go to the chess board. Don't worry. Don't worry about the chess board. I will say go to the chess. I want to con conclude on that Zoom. I want to conclude on the Zoom. It's just time factor. The time is, you know, if I go beyond the uh, one hour, 30 minutes, already you are tired. Already we have spent one one hour now. So let me quickly switch over. So I'm, I, I want to ask again, is there any question on what we treated today? No, sir. Okay. All right. So let me switch over. So... No, not this one. Yes. So the zoom. Let me even close. Close all these ones. Let me zoom again. I think it should be a yes. Uh, open with server, server. Okay. So this is where we st we stopped. All right. So now, this is the problem of um, leaving stuff at the in the middle of something. You come back. You have to start looking at okay, where did we stop? Where did we? What what was our thought like then? All right, so now we have um, we have this container, this main container, this outer container, right? So, and we need to align um, this right in into the mid to the middle, right? And this one also to the middle, and this to the middle. But first of all, let me give this guy. And let me put it in a in a box because if we look at what is the let me see again let me see something I think it should be further down 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 I heard this one. If we look at this, yes, this is in a box of the zone, box on the zone, box on the zone. So the zoom is right there, then there, that is right there. So let's go and do that. So I'm going to put this in a box. So which is join a meeting, sign out and sign in. So this one. The P class. The P class, children to the inner container because th there's a P class here, there's a P class here, I and, and I don't want to put those ones inside a box. So now tell me again who can remind me how I can target this, just this three? Who can remind me? Yes. I want the selector to target to, to target this three to select this three piece. By using dot inner container. Dot inner container. Yes. Container, sorry. Container mm -hmm. items. Mm-hmm. Is that all? Mm. It, it seems I've already even 
done that before. Yeah. You can see it here. Inner container, all the peace, descendant of the inner container. So border. border. One pixel. Solid and black. So I have them in the box. So I'm going to increase the width of this guy, this this the, this the, the container itself. So I will come back to this container, this one. I'm going to increase increase the width. Inner container, inner container, yes, this one. So I will say width. Um let me try 40 view viewport with force. Let me see that. Okay, I think that's fine. Now I'm going to make it border radius. So let me give it. Is there a border here already? Let me test. No, I, I don't think there's any border here. No, sir. So I'm going to give it a border. One pixel. Solid black as well. Is it actually black? I think it's black. Let me see. Okay, it's not actually black. It's, there's no border there. Okay, let me let me remove the border and just use border radius and see what we happen. Um let me see what we happen there. Border radius. Do 10 pixel. Yes. yes, 10 pixel. Yes, that is fine. So we have that already there. Now I'm going to reduce the the width of my join the meeting. Remember, if you come back here, you can see that it's not they are not bothered with the border of the container. So let me come here. I will say with also. Let's say this one is forty. Let's, let's do twenty-five. View, viewport. Viewport width, right? Let's see. Okay, so now we need to center these items, right? We move it horizontally and vertically. I remember that we have um, everything here. It's a flex here, right? So I'm going to do um, justify content center. And what are this? What others am, am I going to do? So you can see it's gone because remember it's column. So justify content we work we work or uh, vertically. So what am I going to do to move this to the center here? Align item. Uh -huh, Align yeah. item. Yes, yes, yes. I know you know that one. Everybody is shouting now because they know. <laughs> Align item. So it is not centered. Now I need to gap them out. Right? I need to gap them out. So I'm I'm going to put use my gap property say 10 pixel let's say 10 pixel come here mm, it's not enough let's see let's see 50 let, let me see 20 if it's so too much okay i think that's fine 20 pixel so i i need to make it border right border radius to, for the yes, key items, border radius, border. Five. No, we do ten also. Border radius ten. So we have that. Hmm. Okay. Let me listen to you. Five. Let's say five. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, 10, 10, 10, 10 will be fine. 
10 will be fine. Okay, let's, let me change back to 10. 10. Now, I need space up and down of these two guys. Because if you look at this one, there's kind of space here, space here, right? So let's give it a space. And how do we achieve the space up and down? How do you achieve the space up and down? Nobody is out here now. That time, where, where is our line at the... <laughs> We use padding top. Padding. Top, bottom, let's say 10 pixel. The other one, I don't want any padding. It's much. So then let me do five. Five. Okay, that's better. Then the lettering is kind of tinier than what we have here. So I think I can reduce this one back to one. REM. Okay, that's much better. So, and the first one here, this first P, right, is um, is blue background. Blue. Let me see. Yes, blue. And the font color is white. So, let's, what are we going to do? How, how do we do it? I, I only want to target this one. Right? How do I do it? Hmm? Anyone, any idea in the class? What's the time now? Okay, we still have about uh, 11 more minutes. So, so we're going to, mm -hmm. we are going to give, give it a class name, a different class name. Okay, fine. We can give it a class, but I don't want to give it a class because I don't. I, because I, I don't want my um, tie sheet to be too long unnecessarily. Okay. What are we going to do? Okay. Yes, I think it's still the same. If I give it a class and I write a class for it, fine. I will still create a selector. Even the other one, I will still create, create a selector, uh, selector for it. Okay, fine. I agree with you. We can create a class, but I okay. I I want to flex your brain. I don't want to create a class. I I don't want to create a class. If I feel like we're going to use um studio element or studio so element. what kind of studio element? Yes, the you are. You, side. The, what the first side? Okay, now tell me how I'm going to do it. Yes, you are right. That is where my okay. thought is going. So how, how am I going to achieve it? Okay, let's use the inner inner container. Dot inner container. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. oh, greater than symbol than P. Then P. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to put the column symbol to column. I think it's double colon actually. Okay, double colon. Sure. Yeah, double colon. Are you sure you it's double, double colon? Are you sure it's double colon? I'm not really sure, but uh, I'm not really sure if it's double colon. I think it's only single colon, just one. Mm, I've typed it already, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I I will now do just I will just copy that. Uh, was it, where is the, uh, this color? Let's copy it and paste in there. Now you have the color. Now we change this to white. Right. So now let's leave this side alone. At least we have done justice to, to, to it a little. So now let's come here. So this has to move to the center there. So how do I move it to center? So zoom. 
this is zoom is um call is uh, the is is anything in a flex here outer container where is outer container outer container hold on outer container items outer container items okay okay and i have in uh, okay i have zoom okay, zoom this is okay fine so how do i move it to the center i need to move this to, to the center here any idea hmm Silence, silence, silence. Uh, is it this zoom you're trying to move Just to the center? Yes, this zoom. I want to move this zoom to the center here. Because if you um, look at this one, you can see it somewhere. Can we use padding top? Can we? You are asking question. Okay, um, we should use padding top. Okay, let's try it. Padding top on the on that on this P, right? And already we have a class for it, so I'm going to use this one. So padding top. How many pixels? Let's say 20 pixels first. Hmm. It it moved, right? Let's say 60. It moved. But as it's as it is moving, we are moving the other items also. So padding item is not the way because see, let me crank it up to hundred. You can see. So this is already distorted from the center and even this. So padding top no. What can I do? Just. Yeah. Justify content. Justify content. Okay. Justify content on which container? Zoom. Zoom. This one. But we did not make zoom a a flex. So you are, you are saying? Are you saying we should make it a flex now? Okay, let's make it a flex. Display flex. Yes, sir. Then, um, justify content. It, re remember that it, the moment we make it a flex, we need to I, I identify whether it's a um, row or column. By default, it is it, row. So if, if it's row, if it is row now, so are we going to use just for content or align content? I'm um, align item. Justify content still. No, you are you, you should align. Use align item. Center. That's it. You can see it has moved without affecting this. I hope you understood what 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 are what, what has just um, been implemented. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. So yes, sir. see, you can apply flex as many times as possible, but just know what you are doing. Simple. Now, let me change this to white. So zoom. You see on zoom. Color white. Let me reduce the size of this zoom a little bit. To so give it three, three, uh, that's two point five. Okay, that's much better. So I'm done with zoom, so I can remove the border there. I don't need the border in that. 
in that area again. How did I achieve the border? Okay, I think, okay, let me still leave it because if I remove that one, it will remove every other one. So let's come down to this place. Sir. Yes. I'm about listening. About the zoom. About the What's zoom? about the, yeah, the font family? Yes. In fact, thank because... you very much. Yeah. I, even myself, I try to get the font family that zoom is used. I could not lay my hands on it. Yeah. Right? Aha. Uh -huh. I, I tried to be candid. I went to Google, Google I said, um, font, family, fa family, family. I think it, it's a PNG image, something. It's not PNG. There is a family, there is a font used. Okay. The, yes. Font from family uh, oh. used for Zoom test. And this is what I got. This is the what I got the closest, Lato. And I went to Lato, right? But it didn't give me exactly that, right? And uh, this one is even from Google Fonts. Do you remember Google Fonts? We treated it in um, in uh, when we were doing the treating font family in in um, CSS. How do we are still doing CSS anyway? Google Fonts. Already is, already is because, because I, I have gone there before. That's why I brought this one out for me now. The latter. So, but yet, no, I, 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 I typed Zoom here. Yeah? Didn't give me the ex exact. It's just kind of close. It didn't give me exact. So, I now, I think I copied it somewhere. Let me see whether I copied it inside that code. I think I copied it somewhere. Oh, no. I copy it somewhere and okay, good that you, you, you mentioned this. So, so now, if you want to get this font, right, you can just click get font, get font. Now, here you can copy, you copy, where is it again? See how to use. No, 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 not that one. There's a place, I don't want to. Uh, okay, let me click on yes. Yes, this one. So this is it. I will now copy this. Link, this is linked to it. But you must have internet, internet before you can use it. So I will copy this code. Come here in my edit section. Is a link. I paste it there. So once that is done, then I can now use um this font um this class i can give it decide to use this class so let me just copy this one copy this one i will now go to my style sheet paste it um, somewhere down there and let me uh, let me realign my code Then I'm going to give this class so the zoom this one. So if I go back to the browser, I can close okay, let me see a little bit. You can see it changed. What is not as okay, maybe probably because I use capital A. Let me just use lowercase there. You can see it's not. Didn't give me the exact. So it seems the lowercase has reduced the size. So let me just take it back to three. Where is that zoom again? Zoom. 
real okay so uh, that's the best i could get then is that clear Mary? yes sir okay so now the last section which is this one so let's move this one down to the bottom here which is this this other one we are two minutes uh, ahead of schedule so this one let's quickly attack this one so that we, we close this one for, once and for all this one Puta. so we just do the same thing that we did for zoom display we give make, make it a flex then what are we going to do align item align items then flex end right yes sir push it down there then footer color white let's change to white i think we are done so i can now remove all these borders the border to the ch children let me remove it uh, this where is it um one two three main container is the main container uh, yeah i think it's main container main container main container border let me remove it first remove this one and now it's gone so out in the outer container remove that border so that's gone so the items remove that container so that's gone so i'm going to delete this one i don't need this this again so i'm going to delete this one too i don't need it again i'm going to delete this one i do not need it again is there anything commented out again nothing so and voila we are done is there any question? No, mm -hmm. sir. So, so you can reproduce it on your own? Yes, sir. Okay. So you can see it's responsive. And that is the idea. Respons re responsiveness. To the, I think uh, this is just uh, the mobile size. So this is, uh, I think, uh, tablet and the others. So, right, since there's no other question, um, tell me in, in, on Tuesday by God's grace, then I will treat the chessboard. So I want to see what you were able to do. Then I did, I'm going to share this code, don't worry. I'll, I'll, right? You said you share this code, right? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm share this. So let, let me let me share it now so I, I I won't forget. Copy. Oh, no no no. Let me delete all these ones. This was the first one I did. On my own. You can see that the the the, the style is quite different from what we did. So, just to buttress the point that many roads lead to the market. Yeah. Okay. I told I did everything. Okay. All right, so let me copy and go to the, oh, let's go, yes, this one, close, this one, paste. All right, so that is done. Any other question? No, sir. No question. So let me give you my assignments. Uh, I want to believe that um, you have done the... Okay, this one is there. Okay, not yet. I thought you were giving us one to do the... Chessboard. No, no. The one we analyzed. Yes, uh, yes, now, yes. That's what I want to give you. I want to paste the... P pushing the... Uh, what's it called? The dimension, everything there. Uh. I'm still going to give you that that's what that one. 
coding class. So is there? So do that. Now, um, let 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 me pause the recording. Now, I think it's it, 